and welcome along and welcome to this first look at Attingham Park 4 Farming Simulator 22. Uh, there is no secret that this is one of my favourite maps in FS19 and a massive, massive thank you to GB Modding for sending me over an early copy of this. I am so excited to be able to have a look around this map. And to show you guys uh, the changes and uh, the updates for Farming Simulator 22. So this is going to be fun. Uh, first off, we will take a look at here and the map. So one of the nice things about FS22 is the map can be extended out beyond or the, or the background for the map can be extended out beyond the actual area of the map itself. Uh, which is absolutely brilliant. So you can see a little bit more of the surrounding area and you can see Attingham Park itself up the top here. Now, very, very much the same layout as we had before. Uh, we've got cell points up this way. We've got our sawmill that way. Uh, animals here, lots of cell points and bits down there. Uh, we've got the dairy farm right at the end. We've got the main farm here. Uh, uh, we've got the BGA there. So we're going to visit all these points and have a look and have a look at how this map looks in FS22. Now, uh, as for prices, uh, fields are bought singly. I think the exception is here at the uh, dairy farm, uh, here at the farm we've got in the middle, which is uh, which is another, actually it's another cow farm, that one, I think. Uh, if I remember correctly, that being my main farm. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we've got a few fields down the side here that are bought together. Price-wise, the most expensive field seems to be field 16. We're not looking at anything more expensive than that. That is, though, a whopping £735,880 for that field. So, uh, yeah, that's quite expensive, that one. I think our cheapest field, by the looks of things, is probably field 9. Uh, field 9 is only 20300 so right by the side of the uh, map there, right by the side of that uh, the road, sorry, uh, down there, uh, nice and inexpensive. The actual other areas of the map are listed as zero. So if you do need to buy any areas to customize yourself, uh, you you can do. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, especially uh, I think if you're having this farm down the middle here. Having this area here as a, a free to purchase is going to be very, very useful in order to actually function uh, with your farm properly. So uh, now that we've had a look at the map, let's head out and, uh, and have a drive around it. Uh, we are going to be using, well, I'm going to call it a landy, but it is listed on the mod hub as the Lizard Santana. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome mod. First time I've used it, uh, but really, really liking this. And it's right-hand drive as well, so it fits in perfectly. Let's start her up. Uh, and we're going to start off by going down the side of Attingham Park here. And seeing if we can see the park. We have been able to through the trees in the past. And I'm just wondering if it's been updated at all so that, that you either have an easier view. Oh, no, we do. We can actually see the park through the trees if we uh, look carefully. Uh, it's got the same uh, nice housing models and everything like that. GB's flag flying high over that house there. And, yeah, here we go. Can we see the uh, house through here? It was there in previous versions. The draw, di whoops, the draw distance may prevent it this time. Oh, no, there it is. Just through there, through the trees, you can see it. Uh, absolutely uh, fantastic. I love that that's a feature, that, that it is actually there. That if you're looking for Attingham Park, you can find it. Big field 15 to the side here. I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit on the landy to show it. Uh Looks like that's got... Well, the, the crops do change depending on the save. We are in New Farmer here to show you the equipment that you get uh, base game with New Farmer. So, it uh, looks like it's sugar beet in there at the moment, though. And we're going to go up to the end here. And we'll come back to this area in a bit. But lots of nice woodland. Again, something I, I tend to point out on maps every so often and we're going to go through this woodland in a bit anyway but look at all the detail under these trees this is this 
is brilliant. This is absolutely wonderful to see. Patches of ground, shrubs, different grasses. All the kind of variation you would get in a woodland is present here. So yeah, I really, really like that. And there's, there is so much detail in this map. I mean, GB's work, his mapping has always been fantastic. And uh, yeah, this is the reason why Attingham is one of my favorites. Now we're right up to the end here. And we've got uh, sweet potato, natural foods and sweeter prices. And the old watermill Atchingham here. And of course, that is the name of the main town we have here. Uh, is uh, is Atchingham. So that's where you start and where everything is positioned. Uh, so yeah, sell point at the old watermill. And then we also have a sell point for potatoes over here. And I think that is a sell point. Oh no, right, okay. So what is, so we've got a sell point here and then we've got a sell point here. So this looks like the potato sell point. Not 100% sure what that sell point is for there. Doesn't give me any indication, of course. Uh, and of course, this is brilliant. So I wondered how productions were going to be uh, put into this map. And yeah, look, we have the old mill. Water mill is now a purchasable place for uh, doing productions and doing... Uh, well, if it's a mill, it's going to be for doing flour. So that's absolutely brilliant. I wonder if it covers anything other than flour. Is there... With an output bit there... No, this is... So the potato area isn't purchasable. I'm not quite sure what you would... Uh, what you would produce from potatoes at the moment on here. Because that, that would require a custom setup uh, production. But absolutely loving that so productions are fully in here as well which is fantastic to see built into the map and uh, and yeah to be able to buy things like the old uh the old water mill is uh, is absolutely brilliant so i'm gonna backtrack on myself a little bit here but not very far because i tried to work out a route on here where i can easily go around the map and not end up doing what we did in the first look for fs19 where I had to get my uh, landy across a river. And the way we're going to do that, sorry car that's behind me, is we're going to go through the woodlands here. So let's open up this old rusty gate. I love details like this. It just gives the map so much character to have uh, bits and pieces like that. And now I'm just going to jump over the landy and into here. So this is Mr. Split's furniture. So is this... Now that's a good question. It's it's furniture place. It doesn't look like it's a purchasable production. Uh, no, so this does just look like a straight up sell point for wood. It uh, does have an output area here. So uh, that's interesting. But not a, uh, yeah, not an actual purchasable production facility at the moment by the looks of things. If we head down here, uh, this is the thing. This gives us uh, the feeling for, for the detail and everything that's on here. And it really is. You know, every inch of this map has been uh, worked and, uh, and had detail put on it and, and made to look better. And it just, it shows so well how much the work goes into it. And it and it's brilliant. It's, it's just been converted so well to, to FS22. Now, can I get down the side of the field here? I think we can. Yeah, we can to this field. I'm kind of wondering where the road along the edge of the field goes here. I think we've got lost along that before. So I am going to skip the side of this field. Let's have a quick look at where we are on the map. So, yeah, we need to, to sort of skip down the side of this field in order to uh, to do that because this goes nowhere. So let's just enter into here and we'll just run down the side of this field. I like the idea, if, uh, if I was to buy these fields, of just putting a road in down there, connecting things up rather nicely. It would, uh, it would go fairly well. And this is the main farmyard. The fields in here, 16 and 15, are just massive fields. So if you like your big equipment, uh, this farm definitely is the one for you. 
it has it has the the roadways to be able to handle it it's not got any main roads stuff with uh with small lanes and things uh there's a nice area here for placeable stuff if you want to uh, put some productions in uh that is a very nice looking area don't think that that is an animal area at all uh i suppose it could be we will just pop down here it's very very possible things to change and the fact that it's fenced in the suggest no this is this is an animal area not a placeables area wow what animals go in here i wonder is this a well we don't own it so this is one of the features that was part of the map in the previous version that also seems to be part of it in this version uh, is that if you don't own the land then you uh then you can't actually uh do any work with it i think that's sheep looking at that that looks like a sheep pen to me now as always i guess you guys in the comments will will correct me if i get anything wrong on these first looks um one of the things about first looks is it's i don't go into the map knowing anything about it normally i want it to be as raw a uh, an experience for me as it would be for one of you coming onto a a map for one of these tours and so sometimes i guess uh, wrong for uh, the functionality of something or i miss something i also like it if you guys if i don't explore everything on the map and you guys are able to uh find something out for yourself when you play it uh, i want to just give a good idea uh, of roughly the kind of map that uh that they are now this is one of the farmyards on the map I've always thought this is a good map for multiplayer as well. There's a there's a decent number of farmyards. Uh, we've got a grain silo. We've got a good size set of sheds. Uh, I think pigs. Yeah, I did. It's pigs at this farm here. Uh, we also had in the previous version horses up here, but I can't see. They might be further out. Uh, but yeah, it's certainly got pigs up here. A uh, good set of barns to store stuff. Really good set of barns to store stuff. Is that a workshop? We've got a uh, workshop in here? I think this must be a workshop. It's not telling me anything. Yeah, we've, we've got a hatched line, but nothing else. Again, might be because we don't own it. Uh, and I think that's the most likely reason. And it, it is a feature I absolutely love on this map. Ah, oh, yeah, and we've got cows. No, this is pigs. So, yeah, we've definitely got pigs over here as well. Really interesting. I'm wondering what that other barn is. I th I'm guessing that's pigs. But, uh, yeah, so that would make this entirely a pig farm, which is, uh, which is excellent. And open this up here. Like so. I am expecting things to have been moved around a little bit, maybe. For this. So this is Malt House Farm. Yeah. And definitely, yeah, I think we've got I think we've got pigs in that. Then up here on the right, we've got the shop as before. And that comes in at this point here. Uh, so the shop is uh, is around here. It looks like this has been moved around a little bit, maybe. We've certainly got... Ah, we've got urban sheep here. So this is the spinnery. Oh, no, this is the clothing factory. So that's, that's pretty cool. This here must be part of that as well, or... Yes. Yeah, urban sheep. So this is the drop-off point for anything done at the spinnery and this is the uh, output place for clothes then over here before we've had the workshop for our shop yep there we go so head over to here and press that so that is the workshop for the shop and looks like we've got some uh, john deere genuine parts on here so this is a john deere uh dealership and the actual dealership itself is up here. There we go. 
So that's in here. So we've got a uh, 6R in here. We did have in previous versions. I wonder if it's still here. Yeah, there was a button that you came up to this and you could turn off all the collisions on fences. I haven't tested the fences and hedges on here yet. So I don't know if they do have collisions or not. Uh, and then we've got the shop menu here as well. And of course, a front entrance to the shop as well on this. Then over the other side here, it looks like we have got a couple of features. So there's something here at the uh, at the hotel. Just want to see if we can find it. Maybe. What have we got in here? Ah, right, here's something. Ah, right, this looks like a sleep trigger. Yeah. So we've got a sleep trigger, a home trigger in here at the hotel. So if you're uh, if you're wanting to do a role play or something and start from there, uh, you can. And then around the back of the hotel, we've got something as well, uh, which if I remember in 19 was a drop-off point for pallets and things. They're just popping down here and around the back of the hotel. We've got a sell point here as well for potatoes and uh, and other goods. So, yeah, sell point around here. And that is it for around the town. Now, over one of the my favorite features of this map, uh, and that is the uh, the bridge. The bridge is just spectacular with the river on this. And I've never managed to get a full screenshot that that completely does it justice i think we may try and do that for the thumbnail on this because it is just absolutely gorgeous that and then having gone over the river we get access to the other half of the map uh, it's quite a long drive down this way Let's see if we can reach the bits down here now i don't know there's there are a or there is a or was a fishing area that you could purchase and earn money from up here on the left and it looks like that might still be a feature of this map this map is is just utterly gorgeous yeah we still have a it looks like a fishing area in here and yeah Atcham Fishing. So this, again, if you purchase this area, you end up getting a uh, daily income from it. What I'd like to see, actually, is a uh, a, a map that, uh, if it puts in its its own custom production, of, uh, of being able to get fish out. You know, just a pallet of fish would be quite cool. Not saying that that's a, a you know that's something that I wouldn't necessarily expect. Oh. Oh, one of my favorite features for this map in FS19 is back. So on every other map, you walk up to the rough gate area and you press. Uh, and it would close the gate. On this map, that does not happen. You have to walk right up to the gate, grab the gate, and close the gate. This is part of the reason I chose this map for a role play in FS19. And why I will be doing a role play in FS22 on it. Because that kind of feature just makes role playing on a map like this so much easier. It really does. Up to the top end here. Uh, now, if we took the left hand road here, that would lead straight down to the two farms. Uh, we're going to go into our Atchingham Livestock Sales. Uh, where we've got the animated cows again in here, which, again, uh, I love that feature. Straw sell point in this barn. Uh, manure purchase point and, uh, and slurry purchase point there and animal purchase point there. So that is unchanged. And then if we head this way. Now, one of the things that, uh, again, that I really liked about this map this was a map where I would forget where the edges were. Until I actually hit an invisible brick wall, I would forget where the edges are. And uh, that is a testament to, to how much I, I like this map. Uh, it was just 
yeah, you get so immersed in it, it's ridiculous. Really, really awesome. We're going to bring this round. And... Yeah, looks like we've got the same sort of detail we had in the town as before. Uh, sell points down the back here. This is uh, county stores. So, yeah, sell points down there and purchase point for fuel out here. And then we bring this round here. Bottom of the map is to the right. And I think, I think looking at the map on here, I am even more likely to try and drive off the edge of the map. Um, because yeah it you can't see the edge of the map in the, in the map window which is amazing uh we got a uh, cell point in there we will go and have a look at that in a moment we're going to look at this one first uh that is british grain and this is just a uh yeah this is just a cell point uh, if you're looking for the cell point for this one it's in here so it's behind the roll door as it was in the previous version and if you head this way over here we've got some more cell points around the back of all these houses and everything we've got a couple down here but an allotment farmyard there so we've got yeah bakery here again uh this is a purchasable production there is so much nice reworking and and careful thinking that's gone into uh, which you know where the productions are and which of the existing buildings that were here in FS19 are now production buildings, which is great. A uh, double sell point over here. Uh, looks like potatoes and something else. I'm not going to go through exactly what all these sell points cover. Uh, I think that's a, a good thing for, for people to sort of find out. If I can point out where the sell points are, I think that helps everybody. Um, but um, I, I, I don't feel the need to point out what every sell point is. Uh, looks like we've got some more productions, though, down this way. Ah, and we've got the main sawmill down here. So I'm guessing... The one up the top must be a furn it must be, as it said, a furniture place. Uh, we've got wood chip sales down this end. And then down here we've got Yeah, all the drop-off points, pickup point pickup points here as well. Uh what we got over here? Oh, this is yeah, so that's where you you're dropping off logs that's where you go to actually drop them off what is this or oh that's the okay so that's the purchase point for the sawmill so all this area here is the sawmill production um empty skips <laughs> brilliant and then down the other end of this shed we've got a different production so ah this is it's sugar shack yeah, Sugar Shack. So this is for making uh, sugar. Uh, output is down the side. We've got auto repairs. And then I think the dairy. Oh, wow. So we've got the dairy down here. Which is this facility here. So low across dairy. Uh, which you drop off the milk in here and pick up milk products there. And then, yeah, we've got a brand new grape and raisin production facility. Now, this is the base game one from um, uh, Hope Baileron, but uh, seems to fit in here quite nicely. I mean, that does not look out of place to me. So uh, I quite like that. It's It's been nicely put in there and, and hasn't affected the uh, aesthetics of uh, of this part of the map at all really well done i love this map this is this is just gorgeous right we're gonna head out this way and attempt not to get lost as i have many times uh in here i presumed that there was a roadway there is not so we'll turn around and we'll head out the other way i thought it was a big circle and yeah, you can get lost in this housing estate trying to find these areas in here. 
still uh, really uh, really nice lots of detail there's not many maps you get where you get this much of a town in them uh, they always end up being quite uh, well quite a you know quite sparse in their towns and and one of the reasons why i like this map is is because this area exists on it it's it's really well built up and uh, and looks very very good right we're heading out now and up this road this is a road i have traveled many many times on this map uh, one of the things i like about this map as well is that at the edges the fields are planted with crops they're not farmable, um, but they are planted, and it adds. You don't just get this sudden cut up of uh, cut off of crops uh, on these areas that are within the bounds of the map, but not reachable by your uh, by your equipment. Right, we're heads down the road at the side here because this is the roadway up to the BGA. And an area of this map I remember oh so, so well. It is absolutely fantastic. And over to the brand spanking new BGA. Um, because Game of Dragon blew it up. And, uh, and yeah, so GB had to rebuild it. Because GD pressed a button and made the... Uh, and made the uh, um, BGA go boom so this is the brand new designed BGA and uh, looking great yeah working really really well so this is uh, the main BGA area uh, as before in FS19 you get a nice selection of equipment uh, this time we've got a JCB and a uh, John Deere in here I'm wondering actually so we've got no hours on this equipment at the moment. So this is brand new stuff. Must be to uh, replace the stuff that got blown up. Um, and yeah. So um, yeah, I like that. I, I do like that the BJ is integrated into the farm. And the starting position you get on here is that you own the BGA and this grass field. So you don't own any of the farmyards. You, you start off with uh so i think the storyline in 19 that's carrying over to 22 is that you've come up here and you've been given the bga to uh to earn your way up and and buy your farm which i is just a fantastic uh bit of immersion into into the map uh we've got the main farm over here now this has re reworked very slightly i can see before i drive in uh, but you've got your main farmyard around here. Workshop is still in that shed there. Do we still have our cow area? So, yeah, still got the cows over this way. A uh, nice big milk tank. So, yes, this is a dairy farm. Uh, you've got the scrubland around there. And we have uh, all the barns and everything around here. And then out this way... It's got a pre-built uh, into it production facility in the form of oh, wow can't can't do anything with it uh, in the form of the uh, one of the base game production uh, greenhouses which is great no manure as the previous version of this map had for that um, but not surprising seeing as uh, that is a uh, that is not a base game feature and. You know, if you're going to put a production facility like that in, you want to keep it as base game as possible. Uh, we've got a sell point over here at the post office. By the looks of things as well. And then if we head down this road here. Now, this is the one that always gets me. Straight on there is the edge of the map. And I always end up going straight on and, uh, and hitting the wall at the edge of the map. Instead, you want to head down this way. And up to the dairy farm at the end. We can have a look while we're driving down here at the uh, the view out across this map. Really, really good. It's just such a it, it it's such an English feeling map. It it really works so well, and I and absolutely love it. And we come up to the main big dairy farm up here. Now we've got I think that's oh yeah, so that's the house. This is uh, 
So this is Crossfields Dairy. I should have remembered that. And uh, yeah, look at this farm. So it looks like we've got a workshop in here, maybe? Again, we won't be able to use it because we don't own any of the land. But yeah, workshop in there. Uh, and just sort of closed off a bit of yard there. Just a really gorgeous area of the map, this. I, this is one of my favorite designed farms, I think. In fact, the, most of the farms on, uh, on this map are just really well constructed. And down here, we've got uh, another area of the yard. We've got uh, the cow, uh, the cow pens and everything, along with the milk tank. And then on this side here, we've got a few more sheds uh, just to round things off. And yeah, there we go. That is our tour of the map. Uh, really, really gorgeous map. Absolutely love it. It is... The changes from FS19 make sense as changes and uh, lots of production stuff put in, lots of new features. Just wondering actually if we buy any of if we buy any of the areas we're in. How customizable are these farmyards? Do we have enough money? No. So I'm gonna add some money in quickly. Let's add in one million because I want to check exactly how well these uh where, where, how customizable these yards are so let's uh buy that yes okay and then we'll head into here and head into construction and so it looks like none of the yards around here are customizable or are demolishable. Oh, bunker silo there is. But yes, the actual sheds and things here aren't. It is a feature I do look for and do like in a map. Um, I, I I feel it, it does really well. But uh, yeah, it looks, looks like customizing this, if you want to do that, it is going to be a, um, a requirement of uh jiggy uh of taking into giant's editor and, and removing stuff and to be honest i don't think it takes away from the map other than it's a really nice game me play mechanic and I, and I would like to see it in more maps um but it's not the end of the world and there are ways around it uh really uh lovely map though uh gb has done an awesome job converting it to fs22 let's go and have a look at what we have in our uh, owned items and unsurprisingly the only owned item you start with is the pickup 2017 uh does that have any hours on it it does not have any hours on it at the moment no so that is a brand spanking new lizard pickup uh, of course the santana as i said i added myself uh so that what this means is Everything you have is leased. As with FS19, uh, it is all leased. So, uh, yeah, you want to build your way up out of that, uh, out of the BGA and uh, and get yourself some tractors brought. Fortunately, uh, you can use the stuff in here. Oh, wow. That's just a little bit mad to start with. I mean, I would probably grab... With 100,000, I'd probably grab that straight off the bat. So, there we go. Um, awesome map. Really great. It is going into the Mod Hub in the very near future for testing. Hopefully, we'll see a release for it shortly after that. And when it does go into the Mod Hub and it's working its way through, uh, I will get started on the second series of the role play here on Attingham Park. So yeah, it is coming back. I will be setting everything up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy when that returns. For now, uh, this video will have to do. Which means that all that remains 
is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.